Welcome to the step-by-step -step instruction video on how to properly perform a PMCS on your M50 protective mask. I'm Captain Hawkins. I will be reading the step-by-step -step instructions. My demonstrator, Private Laura, will be conducting the PMCS on the ProMask. Item number one, visually inspect the mask carrier and carrier flap tab for fraying, tears, or ribs and damage to the hook and file fasteners. Visually inspect the mask carrier waist strap, leg strap, molly attachment panel, and carrier protection sleeve for frays, tears, or rips. Check for mildew, solvents, or abrasive materials that might harm the mask. Check the seams for broken stitches. Item number two, visually inspect the individual equipment carrier bag for frays, tears, or rips. Inspect the slide fastener and snaps for damage. Visually inspect the AAL item retaining straps in the interior of the bag for frays, tears, or rips. Ensure the retaining straps are secured to the bag. Check for mildew, solvents, or abrasive materials that might harm AAL items. Check the seams for broken stitches. Number three, remove the clear outsert from the mask. Inspect the face piece assembly for holes, tears, and splits. Look closely at the edges of the mask assembly. Inspect for soft or sticky spots. Inspect for stiff areas that crumble when rubbed between your fingers and for cracks that expand when the rubber is stretched. Visually inspect the eye lens for cracks, cuts, scratches, or stains that would affect the vision. Pull the head harness brow strap slots, head harness buckles, and face piece beard and visually inspect for rubber deterioration. Visually inspect the bonding around the eye lens. Visually inspect the head harness, pivoting, and ladder lock buckles for damage. Item number four. Visually inspect the skull cap and stitching, the head harness straps, and brow strap covers. Inspect the head harness for loss of elasticity. Pull on the head harness straps and make sure the buckles hold the straps tight. Item number five, remove the outlet valve cover assembly. Visually inspect for breaks and other damage. Inspect the communications port cover for damage and ensure the front cover baffle is in place and secure. Item number six, remove the outlet valve cover and visually inspect the module main body, communications port, drink tube lever, external drink tube, and drink coupler for damage. Remove the outlet disc valve and visually inspect for damage or deterioration. Inspect the valve seat and valve mounting post for damage. Reinstall the outlet valve and outlet valve cover assembly. Turn the drink tube lever upward to open the drink system shutoff valve. Check the drinking system by blowing into the internal drink tube. Item number seven, remove the M61 filters from the filter mounts. Visually inspect the filter mounts for a tight fit and damage. Visually inspect the serial number and lot on filter mount to ensure they are readable. Visually inspect the barcode to ensure it is readable. 
Remove the self-sealing disc valves and visually inspect for damage or deterioration. Inspect the self-sealing valve seat and valve mounting post for damage. Reinstall the self-sealing disc valves and inspect for proper operation by pressing down firmly on the center of the valve. The disc valve should pop open and then close when pressure is removed. Item number eight. Check that the M61 filter seal is present. Visually inspect the M61 filters for cracks, dents, or holes. Inspect the air passages to ensure filter is not clogged with dirt. Inspect the locking tabs on both sides of the filter. Visually inspect the M61 filters for the alignment markings. Visually inspect the M61 filter mounting lugs and connector surface on filter mount. Visually inspect the M61 filter self sealing valve actuator for damage. Shake the M61 filters and listen for signs of loose absorbent particles. Inspect the filter time patch assembly housing and blotter paper alignment within the window piece. Inspect the time patch blotting paper for black or blue specks. Item number nine. Check to see that the following components are present. The internal drink tube, the nose cup, the inlet outlet disc valves, the left and right air deflectors, the vision correction support frame. Item number 10, visually inspect the chin cup for holes or tears and signs of deterioration. Item number 11, gently pull back the chin cup and visually inspect the nose cup for holes or tears or signs of deterioration. Ensure the internal drink tube alignment arrow is visible. Item number 12, gently pull back the nose cup and pull the air deflector away from the filter mount clamp ring to expose the inlet outlet disc valve. Inspect the valve seat and valve mounting post for damage. Reinstall the disc valves and air deflectors. Item number 13, visually inspect the internal drink tube for damage and signs of deterioration. Ensure the internal drink tube moves from the stowed position to the drink position by rotating the drink tube lever on the front of the module main body upward. Item number 14, inspect the outsert lens for cracks, chips, or discoloration that affects vision. Inspect the outsert locking tabs or breaks or cracks. Inspect the outsert pouch for tears, rips, or other damage. Item number 15. Inspect the water canteen cap for dirt, damage, and tight connection with the drink coupler. Inspect the water canteen cap for missing, damaged, or deteriorating drink coupler O-rings and internal canteen seal. Inspect the water canteen cap retaining strap for damage and deterioration. Item number 16. Don the M50 mask with M61 filters. Check the mask for leaks. Check to see that you can see through the eye lens and outsert. Check for excessive breathing resistance. 
Item number 17. Inspect the waterproofing bag for cracks, tears, holes, or brittleness. Check that three rubber bands are in the bag and are not sticky, broken, or brittle. Step number 18. Ensure the operator cards are present. Inspect the operator cards for faded or discolored text. Inspect the operator cards binding for damage preventing cards from being turned or bound together. This concludes the PMCS of your M50 Pro Mask. Thank you for your participation and remember if you have any issues with your ProMask, please see myself, Captain Hopkins, as your Seaburn OIC. Thank you.